Hey guys, Dr. Heather Brown here, and this comes as a request. Someone wanted me to talk about how we hold on to negativity more so than positivity in our minds. And it comes out of the fact that we're geared toward looking at problems. If you go back to Ram Dass and the way he speaks about children, we come into the world perfect and thinking we're perfect. And then very quickly, we start to acquaint ourselves with wanting our caregiver to look at us well because we get more. We get more attention, we get more food, we get more love, we get more laughter when we do that. So from a very young age, we start to realize if I act like this, you do more with me. And then we move into school. And from that place, we are to be a certain way. You must do this in the classroom. You must be like this to be in the classroom or you're... you're kind of targeted. And so there's a message that comes, which is, I am not okay as I am. I must please you. And I must be as you want me to be. So because of that, we're no longer quite clean within ourselves of feeling I am okay. Now we're geared toward I'm not okay, or I'm fearful of not being okay. And I've got to look to you for your approval. So when we hear a negative comment, there's more fear because it's validating we're not okay. And it's speaking into our fear message of maybe I won't be accepted, maybe I won't be loved. I'm gonna be singled out. Now, if we didn't raise people that way, then someone could have a negative comment and it would be just a comment. But we don't do that in our society. And so we need people to like us or we think we need people to like us. And we base how good we are how good enough we are, our value largely upon what other people think and say. And so when someone says something hurtful or mean, we hold on to it. They say you have to have seven compliments to kind of balance out one negative. And I think it also comes from the pain place. Pleasure is great. It's easy. It's nice. It's lovely. Pain hurts. And so I think we hold to that much longer than we do to pleasure and kind and thoughtful. And it's easier to accept things that are loved. It's harder to accept things that aren't, especially about ourselves. I hope that helps.